President Volodymyr Zelensky called for decisive actions from Ukraine's partners on Monday, especially in light of reports about North Korea's new role in supporting Russia. Following a meeting with U.S. Secretary of State Lloyd Austin, in which a new $400 million aid package was announced, Zelensky said that, it is obvious that Putin fears peace, which is why he is looking for ways to escalate the aggression and involve North Korea on the front line. The latest American aid package comes just days after the U.S. said it was sending $425 million in military assistance to Ukraine. But Zelensky has asked Ukraine's Western allies to go a few steps further, notably inviting Ukraine to join NATO and letting it use Western-supplied longer-range missiles to strike military targets deep inside Russian territory. Those steps have met with a lukewarm response. We need partners особливо на тлі інформації про нову роль Північної Кореї у підтримці Росії. Очевидно, що Путін боїться миру і саме тому шукає, як посилити агресію і залучити на фронт тепер і Північну Корею. Для усього світу це очевидний сигнал. Хто хоче, тільки війни. Ми маємо пам'ятати, що Курська операція забезпечує стратегічну мету. Війна – має повертатись на території, звідки вона прийшла. Це справедливо, коли буферна зона створена на території агресора. І також курська операція дозволила Україні зробити більш активну роботу щодо обмінів повертати наших воїнів з російського полону. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin announced the allocation of a $400 million military aid package to Ukraine on Monday during a visit to Kyiv. The package will provide your forces with additional munitions, armored vehicles, and anti-tank weapons, Austin said at a meeting alongside Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. The visit comes hours after a Russian drone attack on the Ukrainian capital and as Zelensky pushes Western partners to keep providing military support for the war. Ukraine is having difficulty holding back a ferocious Russian campaign along the Eastern Front that is gradually compelling Kyiv's forces to give up a series of towns, villages and hamlets. Zelensky is urging Western allies to support his so-called victory plan to end the almost three-year war which is Europe's biggest since World War II and has cost tens of thousands of lives on both sides, including many civilians. His strategy includes a formal invitation for Ukraine to join NATO and permission to use Western long-range missiles to strike military targets in Russia, steps that Kyiv's allies have previously balked at supporting. The Western response has been lukewarm, and Austin was expected to discuss the plan with Ukrainian officials in Kyiv. According to our uh, last dialogue, I think very positive dialogue with the President Biden by phone. We discussed a lot of things and uh, by the way, thanks for the last package supporting our uh, soldiers and, uh, and we discussed a lot of important things about victory plan, about preparing for winter, so some details which will be, I think, uh, sorry. Out of we moved heaven and earth to help Ukraine, and that inspiring coalition of more than 50 allies and partners continues to stand united to provide your country with the ass security assistance that Ukraine needs to prevail. Under President Biden's leadership, the United States remains committed to keeping up this support. And so I'm pleased to announce today the commitment of a $400 million presidential drawdown package to provide your forces with additional munitions armored vehicles and any tank weapons. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov called Monday reports of alleged North Korean troop deployment to Russia, contradictory information. South Koreans say one thing, the Pentagon says it has no confirmation of such statements, there is a lot of contradictory information, Peskov said during a conference call with reporters on Monday. 
probably, it must be treated as such, he added. South Korea's spy agency said Friday it had confirmed that North Korea sent 1,500 special operation forces to Russia this month to support Moscow's special military operation in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky earlier said his government had intelligence that 10,000 North Korea soldiers were being prepared to join Russian forces. North Korea, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea is our close neighbor, our partner, and we are developing our relations in all fields. It is our sovereign right, Peskov stressed. Asked about former U.S. President Donald Trump's comments in which he said that he once threatened to strike Moscow in a conversation with Russian President Vladimir Putin, Peskov responded that, we prefer to take a very responsible position of not making top-level conversations public. Regrettably, quite a few global leaders don't share this position and don't respect information hygiene. Let it stay on their conscience, Peskov said. Now, a lot of heated emotional statements could be heard in the United States during the election campaign, particularly in its final stages, he added. Мы по-прежнему предпочитаем заявлять очень ответственную позицию в плане непридания публичности содержания разговоров, которые ведутся на высшем уровне. К нашему сожалению, целый ряд мировых лидеров такой позиции не придерживаются и такую информационную гигиену в данном случае не соблюдают. Но это на их совести. Сейчас звучит очень много разных горячих и весьма эмоциональных заявлений в Соединенных Штатах в рамках избирательной кампании, особенно, особенно ее финальной